coming. Yeah, I can't so. guess today. Well, let's find out who Cleveland will face in the 6A title game. 7 seed Las Cruces upsetting Centennial last week to face 3 seed La Cueva in tonight's semifinal game. The Bears need just two plays and 23 seconds at the start of this one to make some magic. Cam Dyer hands it off to Cheeto Lombrera. Untouched. 71 yards to the house, and La Cueva's on the board first up 7-0. So on the Bulldogs' first offensive possession, third and short, Daniel Amaro takes the handoff. He's got nowhere to go. The Bears' defense coming up big there. So La Cueva back on offense. Check out this throw by Cam Dyer. Puts wow. everything into it right into the hands of Tanner Montano. That play gets the Bears into the red zone, and Dyer would take it the rest of the way. The quarterback calling his own number. As La Cueva takes a 14-0 lead. Ron, the Bears cruising just five minutes into the game. Okay. So the Bulldogs trying to stop that momentum, pick up some of their own. Amaro in the shotgun. Almost tripped up. But he loses this tackler and he takes it 42 yards for Pater. Love the balance. Las Cruz sits on the board trailing 14-7, but the Bears would not stop their offensive assault. Dyer hitting Jackson Hicks on the short pass. He's gonna take it downfield before he's brought down after a 45 yard gain. Then on the next play, who else? Cam Dyer, his second touchdown of the first quarter. La Cueva now ahead 21-7. Listen to this. The Bears would have 230 yards of offense in less than seven minutes on 10 plays. Wow, that's the Bears time. are heading back to the 6A title game, defeating the Bulldogs 63-33. It was a great run from 0 4 to Final Four, you know, and uh, our guys did a tremendous job. Right now, I'm hurting for these seniors because um, I know they didn't want to end this week. You know, they wanted to have a Thanksgiving practice, but uh, best of luck to the two teams that are in it next week. We've been over that hump before. We know how to do that. We know our coaches know what to do. Our kids are ready for that. It's just about doing our job, trying to get better during the week. We got to have a good week of practice um, and, and just enjoy the moment. Well, here's a look at the Bears resume. Both La Cueva and Cleveland entering next weekend at 9-3. and three. The Bears also looking for their sixth state title, the first since 2018. La Cueva's offense steamrolling opponents, averaging 43 points a game, while the defense is allowing just under 17 points. And if Cleveland and La Cueva in the 6 state title game sounds familiar, well, that's because these two teams played in one of the most historic playoff games in history last season. <laughs> the Storms 75 to 61. That's not a typo over the Bears last year was the highest scoring 11 man state final in New Mexico history. The win earned the Cleveland Storm back to back to back blue trophies. The Storm would trail at the half, but Harrison Bueha, we've heard that name before. He scored four touchdowns in the second half.